interference because uh, the rain. Technology. Yeah, the rain on the uh, on the on the helicopter. So we're getting a little rain in that. No big deal. We'll get Kate back up in just a couple of minutes. We have a special guest with us now, Karen Jameson. Yeah, welcome. Good morning. From a brand new uh, female-focused car dealership in Vancouver named Clutch. Tell us about that. Well, um, I think we're the first one in the world to recognize that women are buying more cars than guys. We're buying 54% of all newer used cars in North America mm -hmm. in any given year. And um, it's just kind of interesting. It seems very glaring to me and to my team at Clutch that the really the whole process is really falling down for women. You know, we're running, we're in the boardroom, we're running careers, we're running the household, we're buying mortgages, but for some reason when they, when we go to buy a car, there's just, um, the process really doesn't deliver and honor the respect that she deserves when she's buying her car. Hmm. And you're here to change that. <laughs> you betcha, thank you. So what makes it, so what makes a difference? What, uh, what is the difference? Yeah, the difference I think really is the experience. We can do it very differently. Our process is completely different. When you walk in, the first thing we do is we slow you down. I think most people find that really refreshing, like, you don't need a car today, do you? Great, because then we can do a really good job making a good selection. You know, for most people, and a lot of women, it's about the most expensive purchase she's going to make. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important that we do a really good job, slow her down, we get to know her, we take her to our cappuccino bar, you know, make her a coffee or pour her some water, and just really get to know her needs. And then, at that point, we go shopping for her, pretty much. Is it, is it, what makes it not sort of condescending for a woman to not be able to go into a regular car dealership and buy a car and, and feel the need to have to come in and see you guys? Well, you know what, um, I think really that, I think it's, it's, the whole auto industry is run by men and for men, and I think because of that, it's been very slow to shift gears. I think when the whole auto industry was started, we weren't buying cars. We were just raising the kids, and the guys were going to work, and they were buying our first car. And so it's a very large industry, so it doesn't, it's not that nimble in order to change. Financial institutions, as you know, have known that women have the greatest purchasing power on the planet, um, including the electronics companies like Best Buy, for example. Um, so I think that I can only say that for us, we've seen that it's an opportunity to do it better. Mm. Now, when you mention your team, is it all women or do you have men working there as well? And it, it is all women sales staff. And okay. the great thing about it is whether you're a guy or a girl, it's kind of a win-win. If you're a woman and you come in, I think she just feels a little bit more comfortable um, because of what's gone on in the industry until this point. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you're a guy and you're a girl, we're really, we're very well trained at Clutch and Auto One. Auto One is our partner brand. Um, that I think that's really refreshing for people. So it's kind of a win-win. Mm -hmm. no, no matter who you're So if you're, guys can come and buy cars from you as well. You don't care. Yeah, Just come and buy absolutely. a car. We've you're an equal opportunity sales <laughs> force, right? That's right. <laughs> now, yeah. Karen, is your background in um, mechanics or no, how did you um, get into this? My dad was an auto dealer, so I'm not unfamiliar to the industry. And I absolutely love cars and I love people. So it's a really good marriage for me. But my background is actually female consumers. I've been doing um, niche color cosmetic brands for a long, long time for big box world-class retailers. So if I didn't understand the female consumer. It was my job. If I didn't know the female consumer, I could never have gotten my brands on the shelf. So I know that we're 51% of the population and 52% of the workforce and mm -hmm. that we're carrying about 80% of the um, purchasing power in any given household. The decision's made by us. Wow, well, there As you go. Yeah, well, well, if you want to uh, get in touch with uh, Karen and uh, her unique idea, it's a great idea. We'll give you a phone number right now. Oh, there it is right there. Sorry, I couldn't, can't read it there. 877 0800? Is that That's right? That's right. 877 0800. We have the smallest TV in history right yeah, in front of exactly. us. So. <laughs> 877 0800. Thanks for coming in, Karen. Thank you. Congratulations. It's a Thanks. giant step out there. It's certainly taken a big risk. So good luck. Thank you. Yeah, good Thank for you. you. Let us know how it goes. Yeah. Christy, you need a new car, don't you? Yeah. We saw your car. <laughs> Steve, you don't have to tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of car did you have again, Christy? Can you set Christy up in something it's nice? A 92 Honda Civic. That's what I know that you're laughing at. Karen's <laughs> howling at me right now. <laughs> so you, you want this yellow one in the picture. What kind of car is that yeah, one? It's a Porsche That's Boxster. a Porsche Boxster. Yeah. Porsche Boxster. How about that, Christy? Really yeah. Porsche. Oh, man, that's so funny. You know what? I do need a new car. It's hard, though. I don't pay anything I'm onto my car. And... She's totally fine, so I can't. What's justify her name, Christy? It. 
Um, I don't know. No, I don't have a name. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I do, but I'm not telling you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. uh, so anyways, yes, I probably should talk to you a little bit later, Karen, but uh, right now <laughs> it's uh, not a priority for me, but I definitely know a lot of my girlfriends are buying cars right now, so a great idea, definitely a great idea. Now, this upper level trough is starting to move east as it pushes into the inland sections. It dries out, just bringing a little bit of cloud. As for